Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. Thank you to all new subscribers. And if you're new, please let me know if you don't mind how you found me. Um, I really appreciate it. And just really curious to know how people find my videos. But, um, and if you're returning, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys for coming back and watching me and um, for commenting for those of you that do. So, what has been going on with me the last week or so, or the last week, um, if you haven't already seen my uh, 20 questions crochet tag video, you can go and watch it. Um, and you know, get to know, know me a little bit better, crochet related stuff, so. Um, we had a, um, what we call a family fun night this past weekend um, at our church and um, we do that every couple of months and it's pretty much a basically a potluck and you know and it's not just with food you know we do um, fun and fellowship you know games and things like that and um, we, we usually eat first you know and everybody can just chit chat and stuff and it's a great way to get to know um, everyone so um, after we're done eating then we do the games we do usually gestures is usually a favorite um, with the kids it's um, and the, actually and the adults because plenty of the adults play as well the um, uh, gosh what's the, what's it called now um, musical chairs and um, it's quite hilarious because you know because <laughs> everybody is quite competitive and when the music stops you know somebody usually at some point ends up on the floor <laughs> so pretty hilarious and then um, I think that I mentioned gestures. It's basically charades, but with a, a um, I don't know if you call it a twist. It's pretty. It, it's like a. Um, I'm sure you guys can find it if you were to look for it in Target or Walmart or online Amazon. I'm sure you can find it. Uh, they call it gestures, and you have cards that you have to pick from. Every every the whoever is up next, they have to pick four different cards and each card has a point system and um, oh and you know feel free to fast forward this until until you get to the crochet stuff um, if you can, in case you're not interested in the chit chat but um so back to the game the it is uh yeah so you, so you pick the four the cards four cards at least and then you put it in this little like it looks like a um what do you call it a movie clipboard you know, for those in the in the movie industry, like when they do, you know, action and whatever, you know, they slap the little thing. And it, it, so you would, you would, once you pick your cards, you put them in the slots and there's numbers one, two, three, four. So you want to start with the easiest one. So the, the obviously, um, the easy cards are only one point, medium is two, and then difficult is three points. So that's kind of how it goes. And that's, you know, you split them into two teams and whoever has the most points at the end wins right so uh, pretty fun and hilarious you know because some of the words are you know for the, especially for the difficult cards it, it is quite difficult it's like how do you how do you act out you know certain words and um, you know like someone someone had I don't even know what card it was but someone had the word kitten and um, I guess that for sure I think I, if it was me I definitely would have done like um, well, the rule said that you can actually mouth the word, so I probably would have mouthed meow and, you know, like doing the ears or something like that, I don't know. But um, the person who had it kind of like went on all fours and trying to, and they were like rubbing against the table and it was pretty funny, but no one guessed kitten. But uh, yeah, so then there's that and then, and then some other games and we also bring video games there as well for anyone who wants, you know, usually the kids usually go for their video games so but uh most of the time though too you know we'll let the kids have their time you know doing their own thing and then later on you know we do like the gestures we pretty much have everybody uh participate you know just a you know kind of a thing and um um what is it the other one musical chairs that one even for those that don't really participate everybody watches you know what i mean so it's not like everybody's off in their corner doing their own thing but anyway it's always uh a great night of fun and food and everyone always goes home with an extra plate of food so yeah everyone always looks forward to that but um 
and some other things oh and then too most recently my husband I'm so thankful for him and for YouTube because I tell you my husband has saved, saved us a ton of money because of YouTube because he's fixed our car for all sorts of different issues that he was able to fix himself because of YouTube if it wasn't for YouTube then you know he would not have been able to do it would have to have to go to a mechanic and um, but yeah so throughout the years he's, he's done so many things and then this most recent thing was the AC. I'm like, oh no, you know, AC, we figured, oh, that's gonna be a whole lot of money. And this thing started out giving us problems in, I think it was March, because I remember thinking, oh man, we need to get this fixed before the summer heat, you know, or really the spring heat hits us, because it starts getting hot here, like April, May. And it started out with the car, like, the air wasn't cold it was just blowing hot air so he figured out pretty quickly there was a leak in the, in the in the line whatever the freon line that you know brings the cold air and stuff but, and um so he he used the different several different things that had like a little patch that you would put it in um with the freon and they did not work it got to the point where it completely went kaput and just completely stopped working at all, totally. So then he investigated and found some some other part and then found a part that he realized wasn't working and he, he called it a clutch, whatever that, whatever, some, it's different from clutch you, you find in a manual car. But um, anyway, so you bought the part for that, put it in, he was having issues and something, you know, still didn't work. Anyway, this last week, the AC is still not fixed, but see now while we while the AC was broken, we only had one window working, one one out of the four windows working, and at least thankfully our car is it's a it's a regular car, it's not a minivan, but it does have sliding doors in the back doors, um, and so we would drive with the one window open the window was on the driver's side which here is the right side of the car and then we'd have the left side of the car the back door would would keep it slide slid open and so thankfully at least you know because of that feature of this car we were able to at least you know drive with a little bit of breeze coming through the window um, you know through the window and through the door because it's just really unbearable when you only have the one window. And um, so anyway, he finally decided, he was like, enough is enough. Um, we know we just weren't able to get the AC fixed yet and we really just don't have the funds to go really take it to a mechanic and you know have them take care of it. And because too, we don't even know if it's the compressor. We know if it's the compressor, then you know, that's gonna be a nice chunk of change. So he decided to take some time and actually take the door panels out of each of the, of each the, of the other doors and check to see what's wrong with the windows, why they aren't working. And he was able to fix it. Well, he was able to fix two of them, two out of the three that were broken. So praise God, he was able to fix that. And so now we have, we can have three windows open when we're driving in the car until we can get the AC fixed. So that was a huge thing, and so I just have to share because I'm just so grateful for YouTube. If it wasn't for YouTube, he would not have been able to do that. And and all the other repairs that he's done on the car over the years, he's been able to do himself because of YouTube. Like some of the major ones, like there was this one thing, oh, two years ago, I think it was, the, the control arm, control arms of the car, the control arms were like, I, I don't know, if, I, I think, um, I think that's what holds the wheel together and you know what I mean and keeps it rolling in the car and there was something wrong with it and he was able to fix that himself um, he did have to buy a specific tool for that but hey it's still way cheaper than having to go take it to the mechanic and have it fixed so but um, obviously some of the really major issues like we had the transmission issue oh. We, we had to, we had to get that rebuilt and so that obviously was not something he could do himself so we definitely had to go take it to the mechanic and have that done and that was that was not cheap so but yeah anyway 
uh, that's kind of a, a huge thing for me um, or you know that happened this past week was to finally have the windows working in the car but um, yeah so and so anyway let's get on I'm going to share just two things I have one is a completed object an FO and another one is a whip and so the first thing I have to share is my finished wall hanging well not quite because I'm not ready to go hang on a wall but the basic of it is done so as you can see here it says and most majority of you guessed it it was faith faith or everyone who made a guess guessed correctly it's faith so now and so you can see it's really not that big I didn't quite measure it but it looks like a little bit less than one and a half feet long and um, see I kind of want it wants to curl but um, yeah and so now my thing is if you guys can help me because I kind of don't want to do it with the fringe on the bottom most of the wall hangings like these I've seen always have fringe on the bottom and I kind of don't want to do that I, I was just wondering you know too because this is a gray like I have other colors like you know I had a lavender and I have a pink and I just didn't think that would be really good for a wall hang like this and so I kind of went with a more neutral color but this just seems kind of plain I don't know I, I, and I was just really thinking about maybe putting some kind of border on this and I kind of wish I had some black yarn I just need to buy some or I think maybe I have some I have a small tiny skein like a, a mini skein maybe it, that would be enough I don't know if that would be enough I don't know if that would be enough but um I just don't want to have to buy any more Red Heart Super Saver. That's the only thing that's available in the store here. And I just don't want to get that. And I don't want to order that either um, because I don't want to order just the one skein. You know, all the shipping costs. You know, I have to pay to have it shipped to my forwarder and then have to pay the forwarder to get it here. So, and then, you know, all that. I just don't want to go through all that for one color, for one skein of yarn. Um, but what do you guys think would be good for a border or if not a border what can I do to I don't know add some pizzazz to this I don't know you know what I mean like I just I, I guess I could just you know hang it on a wall but I just really or I guess if you do if you guys think just leave it as is um, but I just feel like maybe what if I did did it with a border you know make it almost look like frame you know what I mean and that's what I was kind of thinking black to do a border with it and make it look like it's framed and then you can hang it on the wall but if you can give me some ideas or suggestions that would be great and so yeah so that's my finished and so I kind of after that was done I was kind of like stuck and I just really didn't do anything else for a little bit and then I just got it started recently on this bag Oops, so I'm kind of halfway done. This is cinnamon stitches by stitch roll bag. So I have the skein of yarn in the bag right now. So that's but if you can see that's the bottom. It's a it's almost a square bottom, not quite, not an exact square, but um, yeah, so that's the bottom of the bag. This is the Craft Smart um, something teal, I think it was called. Something teal, I can't remember the name of it. From the Hobby Lobby clearance sale. And then this is Premier Cotton Batik. Um, this was yarn that I won from a yarn addict with Karen. I won this like a few months ago. And um, man, this, this yarn is so soft. It is, to me, kind of like, or pretty much, equivalent softness to I love this cotton of Hobby Lobby but man I just I really love touching this because it's just so nice and soft and what a difference between this craft smart and and this um, this one this craft smart uh, not craft smart is it craft smart I'm thinking craft smart is Michael's brand I can't remember now <laughs> it, uh, something craft something right Oh, Crafter Secret, right? Crafter Secret is a Hobby Lobby one. And um, this one isn't as rough as 
sugar and cream. That's for sure. It is not as rough as that. So this is kind of in between. I love this cotton or, you know, the premier cotton um, and uh, uh, sugar and cream. This is, yeah, so not as rough and not as soft as the cotton batik. And so, yeah. And she, um, Cinnamon Stitches, Jennifer, right? Has, Cinnamon Stitches has it where, like, she has the bottom crocheted. And I think mine, too, is a little bit wider. Mine's like five. This is five inches. I think she did four inches. And two, she used a chunkier yarn. So this is all a four-weight yarn. And... And then she, she did the knit section, um, and she also knitted it pretty much the same length as this, but I decided I think I wanted, so I, I you know made it shorter. So this is like two inches, this is five inches, and then um, she has it, she has it tricolored, right? So she has one color for the bottom, one color for the knit section, and another color for the top crochet section. And so I just... You know, I just I just finished binding this off, and um, I'm going to now go back to the crochet, and I think and I think pretty much I'm going to go back to this color. Um, I think I just I think I per personally prefer it that way. And two, it's going to mine's going to be a little bit shorter, or pretty much closer, or pretty close to her her length, because I think if she did she did four, four, and four, then that's like what 12, 12 inches tall um, so if I do five two and five again that pretty much is going to be the same length and actually same length as hers but um, yeah so that's I think that's what I'm going to do and with with that uh, is just to have this color on the top and bottom and then this color in the middle so that'll I think that'll look pretty cool uh, yeah and I really wanted to make this bag because I, I really like like her um, uh, lay flat handle that she has has on her bag if you uh, go check out her video and so yeah so that's my whip for this week and I actually quite enjoyed knitting this I really did yeah even though it was very repetitive it was this you know it's just a one knit stitch oh and two I did it the way she knits uh, I did notice that Jennifer has a different style of knitting uh, and, um, you know, I just thought, oh, well, that's, that's an interesting way to knit, you know, it's not the traditional way. And she, she called it the Russian style. Um, I don't know, never heard of that until she mentioned it. But, um, yeah, I think I really liked the way she did it. And um, I just figured I'll just do it the way she did it, too, because that way it'll be easier for me to follow her tutorial and everything. And, um, you know, and... I really actually, surprisingly, even though it was very repetitive stitch, I actually enjoyed it and I kind of breezed through it. And, uh, you know, and then I did have some mistakes. If, I don't know if you notice right there, you know, for all you knitters, I'm sure you'll pick that out real quick. But I made a mistake and I couldn't figure out how to fix it because I was using Jennifer's method of knitting. Uh, because most video for because the videos that I've watched in the past on how to fix, fix the mistakes, you know, it, it goes with a traditional way of knitting, and so I couldn't, I can't really kind of, I can't really fix my mistake because it's, a, it's for, a, the traditional style of knitting, and with this style, it, you know, with her Russian style, it was different, so I did not, I couldn't quite fix the mistake how I wanted it and so at least I was at least I didn't have to start all over I'm just thankful for that I just kind of like like I, I, I know I knew something was different here and I don't know if it like I thought I dropped a stitch but then after I thought put put on what I thought I dropped I realized it's almost like I added a stitch instead and so then I had a real then I had to go back and try to like then I just kind of like when I got back to this section I knit two together to kind of decrease and put it back to the same amount of stitches but then of course it just looks wonky right there right there so but um it's a of course I notice it but um and then there was some other places I think it just looked funny I don't know if it was because of my tension but like 
here like I don't know what I don't know what happened here what I did like you see how this one stitch just kind of like sticks out I don't know if it's the coloring or what but it just just looks out of place right there I don't know but uh yeah I just too just doing this just really really wants me to I really want to learn more on knitting and you know more techniques and stitches and things like that it's just I really find knitting just so much more difficult when it comes to making mistakes and uh, a little bit less much less forgiving than crochet uh, you know anyway so that's pretty much it for that uh, for crochet this week And so I will just leave you with this joke. What's Forrest Gump's email password? Give up? It is one, the number one, Forrest one. Get it? Well, I mean, obviously for those of you that have seen Forrest, the movie Forrest Gump, you'll get it. But um, for those that you haven't, then you may not. So, but anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy that joke. For those of you that do know Forrest Gump, and uh, I will leave you guys here on that, and I will see you in the next video. Hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you next time. Alrighty, bye.